Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my November favourites for this year. Um, sorry if you can hear my dog being gross and chewing on a treat in the background, but she's old and I really hate making her leave. She's having fun. So she's just gonna be there. Hopefully you can't hear it too much. It's gross, but you know, yeah. She's a sweet dog though. Check out my Instagram if you wanna see her. Her name is Sparkles. <laughs> Strange tangent there. But as I said, I'm going to be sharing with you my five favourites for this month. Um, it's been kind of a crazy month. I haven't posted it in a good while because I have honestly been so swamped with college work. It has lightened up a little bit, but life work has not uh, lightened up a little bit. So this, I'm graduating, hopefully. If I pass all my exams, I'll be graduating this year. So it's kind of crazy and I have to apply for different things and whatnot. So I'm back posting. I should be posting regularly from now until at least January. So I'm just gonna hop right into the favorites for this month. And I don't actually have any like clothing favorites. I just kind of have some random things. So the first thing that is one of my November favorites is this nail polish from Essie. And I'll insert a close up. It is the color S'il vous plaît, but play is like P-L-A-Y. And it is kind of a, mauve pink like it's purpley pink um but definitely more on the pink side and it's got like a silvery tint sheen shimmer to it and this nail polish i actually got in tk maxx and tj maxx and other places i know that hair products which i'm going to mention as well are not always the most trustworthy from getting in tk maxx because we're getting them in tk maxx because a lot of the time they're like warehouse things that have actually been watered down and stuff like that but i've found you know nail polishes to be pretty safe also you could say you know these were probably like opened and tested on someone's thumb and that's why they were in um in tk maxx but you know maybe that's gross maybe it's also half price and i'm not that fussy when it comes to more expensive like higher-end nail polishes um, and I always feel like the amount of like alcohol and like chemicals that are in this I really don't think like bacteria is gonna survive in there maybe I'm wrong but um, yeah I really like this nail polish anyways um, I think it's really cute it's really really nice on I don't have it on at the minute I just took it off but it did last a full week on my nails which is pretty good for me because I do keep my nails quite long and you know I'm like taking my laptop in and out of my bag and you know like typing on assignments and then you know books and stuff like that so you know my nails do get a little bit beat up but it actually lasted and yeah so it was much better quality than I thought it was going to be um I think I got it for like four or five euro which uh, is good here because Essie's more expensive here so yeah definitely check out a TK Maxx and this color if you can find it it's pretty good and it only needed two coats to be opaque so love this and it is yeah the color is super play if I didn't say it before so the other thing I have that's kind of like beauty related is also from TK Maxx and this one I know some people will probably say it's a little bit sketchy um it's the Shea Moisture Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Texture Spray with Imbe Oil and Aloe so I had seen this on I've obviously heard so much about Shea Moisture as a great brand um but I had heard so much good stuff about this and had seen it on ASOS. So I was like, oh, okay, I really wanna get that. But I just didn't know, I wanted to kind of smell it beforehand because sometimes you can get hair products. Like I hate the smell of anything by the brand Aussie. I don't know why, I just do. Um, so I was a bit nervous, but this is a weightless texture spray for our tussle and hold fine wavy curly hair, which is what I have. So um, I have like fine, wavy curly hair but my hair is also heat treated so it's also lost a lot of its um like body and shape and kind of curl um this is heat styled right now it just kind of dyed my hair is like r.i.p hair um i've bleached it a couple times i've always gotten balayage i've never gotten like straight bleach but my hair is very fine and very fragile because it's naturally like wavy curly so um yeah with heat styling it my hair has like kind of died of death so I thought that this would kind of give it a bit more hold because the only thing that would give it like wave and curl now is something that's pretty heavy in alcohol, which is very drying for your hair and something I tend to avoid. So this is like oil based basically. It's water, coconut water based, do you know? And I was like, you know, it has a bit of alcohol in it. But I was like, you know, this might be good. So this does not make my hair more wavy or give it tussle and hold. 
but it makes my hair feel like it just grew overnight. It is like the most revitalizing, does it even say that? No. It is revitalizing, like it makes your hair feel bouncy and just like fuller and thicker and more moisturized, but not like in a silicone way because there isn't silicone in this. So I just couldn't recommend this enough. It's like a conditioning treatment. It doesn't mean that it's like really, really good for um, curls for me. Maybe it will be, maybe it's just the weather. Maybe it's how, I, if I like diffused it when I was uh, styling it or something. But um, yeah, was this spray, spray on damp, damp or dry hair? I've been putting this on like, wet hair so that could be the problem but I'm gonna continue to use this and I got this for 8 dollars instead of 12 euro um but yeah I would definitely suggest it for its price tag it smells so good as well it has a really light like really light coconutty flavor not flavor scent oh, so good um but like with floral undertones as well like really tropical but also really soft it makes your hair like the next day you can still smell it so definitely try that product I know that they I'll link it on ASOS because I know that they sell it on ASOS Typical me, one of the things that is my favorite, I actually don't have to show, so I'm gonna have to insert a picture. And it's kind of a strange one as well. It is a Nature Valley bar, which typically I hate. Sorry, my dog is making a lot of gross noise right now. Sparkles! Stop for a second, okay. Sorry. Um, it's a Nature Valley bar, but I think they're new because they were on special offer um, in my local Tesco. And they are a Nature Valley bar, they're like two thinner biscuits, and they have like nut butters in the middle. So they, there's a peanut one and an almond one. They're the ones that I saw. And I was like, I love those. That would make it like more filling. I'm gonna try them just cause they were on deal. They are so good and they're actually filling. And like the almond butter in the middle makes such a difference. If you don't like cinnamon, do not buy them. They are very cinnamony, the little biscuits, but they're like really thin. I don't like the usual, like the traditional Nature Valley bars at all, but those ones are so good. And they're a great thing to have in a backpack. If you have like a two hour lecture and you're like, I'm so hungry, you will not be hungry. Like they are so filling and just really good. So second to last, I have my duck boots. I recently got duck boots. My parents were traveling in uh, the New England area. They were kind of road tripping around and they knew that I wanted these for Christmas. So they got them for me. Haha, <laughs> they are size, I'm a seven and a half. So I have a size seven. And um, they're obviously the brown ones. Um, I think the width is B. So they are a little bit loose, but they're also the thin slate ones. They were the only ones I had in the outlet. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to have these. I've been wearing these quite a bit. They do need a little bit of breaking in as far as like the leather goes, but um, I love them, they're gonna be so good. And next week's video, um, so definitely subscribe to see next week's video because I'll be comparing these to the Sperry versions, the Sperry saltwater duck boots. Um, Cause I have lots to say on both of them. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to see that video next week. But yeah, I've been enjoying wearing these all this month. It's been very wet and windy and rainy uh, in Ireland. So yeah, these have been coming in very useful. And lastly, I have something that a lot of people might not know about me, but I also have a planner channel which is kind of unusual, and a planner Instagram. So I will have my planner Instagram link down below. It's at Anime Plans. If you're searching for it, my regular Instagram is at anime.yt. And I recently got this off eBay. It is a Filofax Domino. And I've had a Domino in the past. Um, I had a teal patent one, if you know about Filofax. Um, and I, yeah, I recently got this and it's gonna be like a craft journal. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna start like bullet journaling um, and putting like craft things and like craft and art journaling into this. It's a ring bound um, planner, if you didn't know. So um, I did get this off eBay. I bid on it for very little. I got this very cheap because I did not want to buy a full price one for something that was just gonna be an art journal and I wanted to kind of get beat up and this is already a little bit more beat up. So I'm excited to start using that and I'm gonna be posting some videos on me like setting it up and everything, but like prepping for that and starting some of those things has been a favorite thing that I've been doing this month. So be sure to subscribe to Anime Plans. I'll have that linked in the cards as well. And uh, yeah, I thought that was just something fun to share and if you ever need planner advice, I'm the person to go to. If you didn't know, I use, um, currently I'm in a A5 ring bound uh, with Erin Condren style inserts, like vertical style. And in the new year, I'll be moving into an actual Erin Condren planner, I have it over there. Um, and I'm very excited to do that. And as well as that, I do like sticker hauls and I will be doing some craft journaling stuff as well. So um, there'll probably be some more craft stuff going on to this channel in the new year. I think my classes should be a little bit 
easier in the new year. Um, I've had a lot of politics. I'm a joint major, so I've had a lot of like reading, writing type classes this semester, um, but it's kind of the opposite next. So um, yeah, hopefully, sorry my dog is making so much noise. Sparkles, can you shush? Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, as well as that, you can find me on Instagram at anime.yt and I will see you in my next video. Bye.